Hey there everyone, this is Life Welcome back to my playthrough of Etrian Odyssey 2. Today we are going to get to, uh, to start exploration of the 5th floor. Uh, just get things done and overall go over some more things that I may have forgotten to go over in the previous episode. First of all, in the previous episode we obtained our first Therica BX. These things are uh, status hue, uh, a pretty much a party refresh, as I like to call them. They, they will, will remove the status ailments of all members of your team. Uh, I usually don't like pulling them out until boss battles, but let's go ahead and use this time to get rid of a lot of things instead. So let's start by going over to the bar, because in the 5th floor you're always going to encounter quests that encounter the 5th floor below, and oh my god, we might be shoveling quests today. Uh, Nameless Flower will be later on the floor, but we can probably accept all of them. Special projects team, fourth floor, become more aggressive, stay there for three days. Oh dear, that's going to be one of the harder ones. Let's do this one later. Paint the town blue, Amazonite. Bring five new rocks to replace it. That should not be a big deal. Let's go ahead and take it. Say when you lot become such good friends with the guards. Get a request from one of the guards. Quite the gentleman, that lad. He wax eloquent about the guild had done for him. And judging by his description, he can only admit you. The young guard over at the Duke's Palace can tell you more about this thing and move on. Alright. Ragged sharp tail so the moon tears. Right. Alright, let's take this one. This will appear rather early in the on the fifth floor, so we can take it now. Not sure if you should be taking that one. It's a bit fishy. You may want to hear the details anyway. Knew you wouldn't be satisfied. Alright, there's a geezer who lives far from the main city named Chapman, more commonly known as Lagard as the Bragger Chap. Uh, his story is that of an explorer once, but no one believes it. Insists that there's a spring that collects moon tears. Swear, uh, swears up and down that he saw it. Nice story, sure, but this braggart chap, I doubt the man's been as far as the fifth floor. But if you're going to chase fairy tales, I won't stop you. Well, tall tales, fairy tales, same thing. Just don't get your hopes up. Alright, we'll take that. Fine forest, labyrinths, trees are dying of an unknown disease. Please help us investigate the phenomenon. Well, there's only one instance in the 5th floor and two in the 6th, I think, but we're gonna take it anyway, because we can at least start it. Uh, let's see, healer from before. Apparently there's trees in the labyrinth that have been withering abnormally. He wants you to find the cause. Don't know so much about it. Sounds pretty serious. Check out the hospital to get more details. Good luck. You're going to be doing quite a sequence of quests that involves dying trees. Um, special projects team and the Nameless Flower, which is also 5th floor quest, so we'll go ahead and take it. Should be right up your alley. There's well a love family in the duchy, and their, their green isn't doing so well these days. She's a kind old bird, lost her man a few years back. He's popular in the corpse in his day, but every time I saw them, I put up a song in the wicked old heart of mine. I don't think she's long for this world, and her family wants to give her a memento of her gramps. They tell me that there's a certain flower he gave her when they proposed. Thing is, I looked it up, and it only grows in the labyrinth. They say it's on the fifth floor, a soothing pale flower. Think you could fetch it for the old girl's sake? Well, we're counting on you. All right. Well, before we actually start doing anything serious, then, then we're going to need to go grab the gather team and go ahead and get this five Amazonite done. I'm going to see you guys when we're clear of that. Yes, we have five Amazonites. Um, this is very confusing. Do they need me to take it to a certain place? Or do I need to abandon the quest and get it back and hopefully that will fix it? So, let's try that. Abandoned. Paint the town blue. Yes, and we all become good friends with the guards. Oh, we have to go and get the details. Of course. Okay. Yeah, because that makes a lot of sense. Some guard corpse, please wait here. There you are, glad you're the ones who took the job, don't remember me? Look the same with all the helmets on. You're the one who brought the supplies to the labyrinth, alright, from the supply line quest. Uh, there's decorated with a beautiful mineral called Amazonite. Some roads are in need of repair, we're going to fix them, but we don't have any Amazonite left. Usually not a problem to get more, but we're busy now. So go mine it, deliver it to the bar, and we should be done with this quest. Yes, there we go. Problem solved! Made no sense that we had to go to the guard first when they asked for five rocks, and I went to get five rocks, but oh well. Sometimes you have to do things like that, and kind of, it's kind of weird, but you live with it. So let's go ahead and nap. Yes. Because we're going to need it to be nighttime on the fall, uh, for the moon tier event. 
which we will hopefully get done today, and I think that will be the goal of the episode. So, let's go grab the regular exploration team, and let us get started on that objective. So we're gonna need you guys. Flora is gonna be knocked out until we get the Zamiel bow, and then we're gonna test her out for a little bit, and if she doesn't work, we're just gonna stick with Jason for the rest of the game. Well, not for the rest of the game, but for the rest of the main game at the very least. For the entire game at the most. Let's go to the geomagnetic... I do have a warp wire, don't I? Oh, almost, almost caught myself there. Having to go all the way down from the fifth floor is a royal pain. Because there's no shortcuts in the fifth floor to make it easy to get back to the stairs. So you have to make sure you bring warp wires. In addition, remember to make it nighttime for the quest as we've already established. And we can start exploration here. And why does it not look like nighttime here? It probably is, but oh well. Let's go around, down, and over. And you'll notice as you approach this that there's an event. This is a shortcut for later. I know there's no blue flowers corresponding with it, but... Well, you just kind of always bump into it. It's like almost impossible not to notice that this is here. Unless you turn before you come to, you know, in, which I guess is reasonable. But otherwise, you won't miss it. And I think there's blue flowers on the other side of it, too, in case you do. Uh, let's see. I forgot to visit the hospital, too. So, my bad. So, let's just get the moon tier for the day, and I know it's going to be this way. In general. And um, we're also going to take on a dead end, too, just to get it out of the way, so we don't have to visit it next time. You know, just to be, it makes sense. And also, the room to my left, I think, is one of the ones that involves that needed me to go to the hospital before I did, but I wasn't paying heavy attention, so I should have known better. And actually gone to the hospital like I should have, but I guess we'll do that next time. Let's run into one of uh, two new enemies on this floor, and then I'll pass... Well, one of three new enemies on this floor. Meet the Hypno Owl. The Hypno Owl will put your team to sleep, so it is in your best interest to kill it first if you see it. That doesn't mean the Evil Eye is not a threat, that just means the Hypno Owl is a bigger one. Is a bigger one. Attack Hypno Owl. Swing a Viper his way, swing a Tornado at the Evil Eye, swing an... No, let's swing an Attack at the Hypno Owl. Uh, I don't think he, there's any conditional drops. I've been wrong before, so I'm gonna check real fast. No, there are new, there are no conditional drops for the Hypno Owl. There is a conditional drop for another enemy we'll run into this floor, though. So this should pretty much deal with the Hypno Owl, and... Like so, yeah, that Hypno Owl is good as dead, and now the Evil Eye is dead. Alright, very nice. Very simple set. Got Jason to level 11, or is that 10? I wasn't paying attention again. Man, I need to, I need to learn to pay attention. Oh, 11, yes. Oh, now you're at the same level as everyone else. He used to be behind. Get guns to 5 and keep working. We're gonna get sniped to 1 before we continue on trying to get to Ricochet, so... Hold on to your toes. Uh, snipe is going to be one of our main attack skills on him, too, so we need to get it soon. Alright. Alright, swing up here. Indeed, north is nothing. Why did I come up here if there was nothing here? Because I didn't remember, so I had to check it anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and... There's no FOEs around here, so let's fill that in. And continue going this way. Oh, come on. Anytime now. Cooperation would be best, Gam. Good. Okay, to the right is the dead end I want you to cover today. There's only a treasure chest over there and an FOE. Uh... But otherwise, I think it's in our better interest to get that done now. Oh, hey! Uh, he gives you a start as you approach, and then uh, smiles as he comes to address you. A group of explorers. You tell the guard a flower, but this floor is filled with flowers. Maybe in the southeast region, so he tells you us about the flowers in the southeast area of this floor. You thank the guard and continue. That's one thing I do like about what they did with the quest in this game, is that they do actually post guards in places so that you will learn about the actual locations of events if you're confused. Uh, sometimes it's hard to find these guards, sometimes you'll just run into them coincidentally. Either way it works. Meet the Cube Gel. Now, Cube Gel is resilient to physical attacks and weak to magical ones. However, there's a catch. If in order to kit his item, you have to kill him with Pierce. If you have anyone with a bow or a gun, uh, you want to make sure they get the finishing kill. Note that Fire Shot, Ice Shot, and Volt Shot do not count as piercing damage. So, you have to kill it with legit. You have to kill it legit. So, let's get everyone to kill these hedgehogs off first. Uh, go ahead and send an Evil Eye out here. And 
fling a fire shot at one of them anyway, so that we can get these guys weakened down. Alright, like so. Acid will deal damage and is also a leech of HP. And as you can see, that dealt with that. Now, in order to control how much damage I'm doing, I'm going to send a suicide over on him. And then attack and see how much damage that does. This way we're not getting interfered by the cube gel and we can see how much damage we're actually doing. So that was double 14 and 27. I think if we do that one more time, we should be good to go. Alright, and now we just aim a normal attack at him and he should be down. And we're good. Very nice. We got his Fiber Hide, which is his conditional drop, and the Cube Gel, which you will already have had a copy of if you have gotten the one on the very first floor. So if you, so it's not going to be a new item on the item compendium, but you do need more of it to get some equipment for your gear, her index. So make sure you kill these guys anyway. I think we only need one Fiber Hide for the index though, so we, I might just go ahead and kill them with Fire Shot whenever I see them. Uh, this F we, I don't, I think this is just a regular. Uh, Rage Lope slash Fury Horn, whatever, so we'll just go around the circle and grab this item and be on our merry way. And this item is... An Ice Jar. Jars are a very useful way of getting rid of these, uh, gels. I think I should demonstrate. So, yeah, let's, let's do the... Oh, nope, let's swing a Viper over there, an Attack over there. Uh, use an Ice Jar... Or a fire jar, ice jar, volt jar, same thing, and attack. See how that does. Let's see the damage that fire jar does. 125, yeah, so if you have a high tech user, then the jars can be a reliable way of getting rid of them too. I know you don't, uh, you don't have a renewable source of jars yet, so it's not always in your best interest, but if you have nothing else to do with your jars, and I guess it, it just really helps me. To use jars against them if I feel like it. Like, if there's an emergency situation, go ahead and use your jars on them. Not really going to spare them your jars now, are you? Uh, let's see. This goes... This goes into a small 2x3, which isn't really too important, but I think that might be one of the hospital things. So we'll re we will revisit that later, but for now I just want to get around this FOE and get what I want you to get done today. So I'll mark it and we'll come back to it later if I think it's what we need. If not, uh, if someone could tell me whether it's pointless that it's there or not, and I'll just fill it in with paint later. And we'll say that we've been there, but even though we haven't. Let's go through this door. Now, you're going to have the option of turning right. Going that way will lead to the moon tiers, which is what the goal of this episode was to get at the very least. Uh, since we still have quite a bit we can go on, we will probably go a little bit further. But, to avoid, you know, I don't know, we might actually just get this and end off the episode. Depends on how I feel, doesn't it? But as I end, we turn this corner, and this is where we need to be. So, as you proceed through a dimly lit clearing, you have a strange sensation. You're looking carefully at your surroundings, you notice something odd on the ground. It's moss. Even, even through your thick-soled boots, it is evident how soft the ground was. But why would moss be growing in a place like this? Water. As soon as you ponder the question, you see water seep to the surface, creating a small pond. The moonlit's glow hits the water, making it seem in like a thing alive. Suddenly, remember your quest you undertook at the bar. The tear of the moon that the bragger chap asked about. You feel certain that the moon's tear he spoke of is this very water. You decide to coax the water in your container and stow it in your bag. Moon tears. Alright. So that is necessary for that quest. So very nice. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and deal with another dead end while we're up here. Uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and deal with another dead end while we're up here in order to you know just get more things out of the way. So I was hoping Tornado's collateral damage would be doing more by now, but oh well. So let's go ahead and clear him too. All right, great. Anna level up to 12. Alright, Anna's slightly ahead of everyone. That is... I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, let's go ahead and get Suicide to 5. Alright, we now... We're gonna start working towards Dampen for a very long time. So, 
we're gonna start with the for dampen we're gonna start with the skills that don't do anything which is the curses prerequisite and then we'll work on tech up then tp up and then scavenge and then dampen to one uh, i usually don't get higher level dampen because it's just a higher cost and really not that much better uh, until later levels when i have nothing to spend my skill points on we're just going to keep dampen at one for a long while so expect that move over there nothing there all right the other dead end i wanted to cover today i guess did you know just because we still have tp left we may as well keep going uh we're going to go over to that side over here towards this door there is a this is a dead end pretty much and i'm it's gonna be good to cover- oh, yes, it is a dead end! Congratulations, stupid! This could be another one of those rooms that the uh, hospital wanted me to do, but I completely forgot to take the quest. So we may or may not be back in this room. Let's get out of here. I think we can actually- yeah, let's go- The dead end is over here in two- This way. I know that- now I know. Yes, now I know. Now I'm pretty sure. Also, if you're wondering what's to the left of the, this area I just painted in, that is the exit to this floor. We'll be in that little hook later. Oh, this is a dead end, too. Uh, yeah, this place pinches the exit for whatever reason. No, not it's not going to go that far, but it's going to be one more ahead of me. So, yeah, there is... We know this for sure. It's double Hypno Owl set. It's just gang up on one, then gang up on the other. I don't see how that can go wrong. But we don't really mind. Gandra go to level 12. Alright, let's go ahead and give her her skill point. Is it going to be in Tornado or is it going to be in TP up? It is going to be in Tornado. Okay, how much is Tornado costing? 10. And how much TP do we have? 51. Very nice. We, we shall get Tornado to 6. Alright. Very nice. Alright, so we know that little pinch is right there at the very least. This is the way of progress. So that means this is the way of the dead end. Now the reason you want to come over here is that one, there a, is a secret uh, room in here with a little bit of treasure in it. A. And the rest of it, however, is just a big giant dead end from my experience. There might also be dead trees from the hospital here, but I always forget where it is. A reminder of where these, uh, the dumb tree of, trees are. I know two, I know one of them isn't i know where one of them is on the sixth floor later but if anyone can remind me where the the hospital trees we need on this quest it would be very nice life belt so come in here get a life belt it gives 50 hp uh it's generally better than your weakest defensive item to have more hp and for a to snack a little bit of defense for more hp i think i'm going to give it um, what is this, 5 defense for 50 HP? Are you the one who needs it though? Do you need this HP? No. I think you need this HP. You have the lowest defense. Uh, I think we can sack the hairpin and still be in good shape here. But it's very important that somebody has this life belt. And Linda could always use 120 HP. It lets her take more hits and it prevents her from dying, so I don't see how this was a consequence. Alright, if you see this set, kill the Red Horn as fast as possible, preferably first turn, and then don't worry too much about the Hypno Owls, are not as big as a threat. Just know that all your efforts need to be focused on one thing. Um, Fire Shot. It's, I'm, that's actually probably very much overkill, but I don't know if Fire Shot will go fast enough, so... It's always good to be a little... safe about it. Alright, so we got two terrified guys, each low on HP thanks to Tornado. We'll go ahead and send a suicide over there, as everyone else attacks the other one. And this is the beauty- oh, nope, it died before suicide took place, but that's fine. We don't mind so much. It only costs 2 TP for suicide now, so now it doesn't feel as much as a waste if I use it. Uh, let's see. Linda! Vitality up to 4, you need the defense you can get. Eric, you need whips to... F you got racket max. So, whips to four. Start working on climax. Let's go... Oh, anyone else? No one... Okay, no one else leveled up. So let's go ahead and investigate the rest of this, in uh, this dead end, if we can call it a day. We have locked doors and we can no longer progress. There's nothing else here. Let's go ahead and take a warp wire out of here and call it a day. Record chap's tail. 
Uh, let's stop by at the hospital and get some information and then we'll end off the episode. Yes, even the Bragger Tap sells the truth sometimes. Surprise! Get Fungus Jet. Very nice. Let's go over to the hospital and figure out the details of the dying trees. Strange to you at this late hour. We've been getting strange reports of Explorers Guard. I think we needed to be here at night, so it's good we got here. Have you seen two parts of the labyrinth withering away? I hope I'm not overthinking it, but I'm afraid I'm not. There must be some reason behind it. To, not, no one's too worried about it yet, but it could lead to some very serious consequences. I'll turn over whatever data you can collect to Northern Academy. I guess I should explain that they're organization of healers across the hemisphere. But to get the ball rolling, I need you to verify a few specific instances for proof. There are currently clusters of trees in the fifth and sixth floors that are withering away. I need, I think it... Examples from three areas should be sufficient to begin. Oh, and just to let you know, the request has nothing to do with the hospital or the Grand Duchy. I don't want to spread rumors without evidence to back it up. Please keep this a secret. Once you have the samples, can you return them in at the bar? I'm counting on you. Alright. Alright, everyone, so this has been Life Freaking As always. I thank you for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time, later, and have a good one.